there, Mr. Holcomb here again with another episode of the Math Behind the Module. This is lesson 18 and is going to be computing actual lengths from scale drawings. Okay, so let me go to full screen and here we go. Example 1. Vincent proposes an idea to the student government to install a basketball hoop along with a court mark with all the shooting lines and boundary lines at his school for students to use at recess. He presents a plan to install a half-court design as shown below. After checking with the school administration, he is told it will be approved if it fits on the empty lot that measures 25 feet by 75 feet. Okay, it's got to fit that on the school property. Will the lot be big enough for the court he planned? Explain. So here's our scale drawing, and we need to scale it up and one inch on the drawing is going to correspond to 15 feet of actual length. Okay, so there's the key to the problem. One inch corresponds to 15 feet on actual. So it's a scale of 1 to 15 feet. Now I'm going to do something that you've seen over and over and over. I'm going to do a table, original. Scale. Find yourself every time that the original left side is x and the right side is y, and we want to know our constant proportionality or our rate of the scale. All right, so the original is two inches by one and two thirds. Three times one is three plus two is five over that three. And there are our two dimensions. Okay, so now we need to convert something though, because this is in inches and our scale is in our, our our scale is going to be in feet. So off to the side here I'm going to take that fifteen and I'm going to multiply it by twelve. So 15 feet times 12 inches in a foot equals 180. 15 times 12 is 180. 15 feet times 12 inches would equal 180 inches. Okay. So that is our K, 180 inches. So now we use that old equation, Y equals KX. There it goes again. So in this equation, we're going to have Y equals 180 x. There's our equation with our constant proportionality or our rate. Unit rate. Okay, so we have to make a table and we have to find all the values that correspond to this. So obviously 1 is 180 inches. Now I need to find 2. So in order to find 2, I just simply plug in my givens. I want to find y. I know x or k is 180, and I know x is 2. But well, 180 times 2 is 360 inches. So that's going to be 360 inches. I'm going to do it again for 5 thirds. y equals 180 times 5 thirds, which equals, so in this case, 180 divided by 3 is easy. That's 60 times 5. Okay. So there are our volumes. All right. Now that we've done this in inches, I have to scale it back to feet. So now I want to take that 360 inches and divide that by 12, and that will give me 360 divided by 12 is 30 feet. So this is 30 feet. So I guess I could do another column over here and switch it back over to feet. And now I want to know what 300 inches is. Well, 300 divided by 12 is 25. Feet. So our basket. 
basketball court, after we scale it up, is going to be 30 by 25. And the original was 25 by 75. So if I rotate this sideways, the 25 will correspond with this 25. And 30 is definitely less than 75. So will the drawing fit? And this, will the original, or not the original, but will the scaled up drawing, the real court, fit the parking lot? And the answer is yes. All right, example two. The, the diagram shown represents a garden. Scale is one centimeter, one centimeter for every 20 meters. Each square in the drawing measures one centimeter by one centimeter. So this is one centimeter from here to here, one centimeter from here to here. Find the actual length and width of the garden based upon the given drawing. So the first thing I'm going to do is count how many squares this is. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight centimeters. Going up the side, it's one, two, three, four, four centimeters. So our drawing is four centimeters by eight centimeters. And I want to determine what? The actual length and width of the garden based upon the given drawing. Okay. Our scale is one centimeter to 20 meters. So again, we're going to draw. The original is eight centimeters by four centimeters. That's the original. I know X. And OK is 1 to, 200, one, 1 to 20 meters, OK? There are 100 centimeters in a meter. So 100 times 20 is 2,000 centimeters. All right, so now we have 1 to 2,000. So my K is 2,000 centimeters. So y equals k x. Don't know y. K is two thousand. X is eight, which is sixteen thousand centimeters. I'm gonna leave a space and just write what it is in meters when I'm done. And then y equals two thousand times my other x four which equals 8,000. So this is 8,000 centimeters. Now I need to divide this by 100 to get this. This is 100 centimeters in a meter, so dividing by 100 would just cancel out to the zeros. So that would be 160 meters by 8 meters. Okay. So 160 meters by 100, I'm sorry, by 80 meters. Back up, read the question, did you answer? Find the actual length and width of the garden based upon the given drawing. Length, width. I answered that. page. Example three. A graphic designer is creating an advertisement for a tablet. She needs to enlarge the picture given here so that 0.25 inches on the scale picture corresponds to one inch on the actual advertisement. What will be the length and width of the tablet on the advertisement? Okay. So a quarter of an inch on the scale picture here given will correspond to one inch of the actual. So we're going from a quarter up to a one. We're doing a scale. K is greater than one, so it's going to be an enlargement. Okay. 0.25 is the same as one quarter. I don't like decimals. And it's two to one. One quarter to one. 
So we have, again, a tape, original, scale. Remind yourself that that's X, this is Y, and you have to find K. The original is in front of us. I'm going to mix these, take these mix and make them improper. Four times one is four, plus one is five. So five quarters is the height. Eight times one is eight, plus one is nine. Nine eighths is the width of the original. Our scale is one quarter to one. All right. So, in order to make a quarter up to one, we have to multiply a quarter by four to get one. So my k is four. One quarter times four equals one. And that's what we wanted. We had to multiply the quarter by four to get one. So our scale is it's going to be enlarged by a scale. All right, so we're going to take five fourths. I'll put my map over on the left here. I force. First of all, let's write the equation y equals kx. y equals k, which is 4, times my x, which is 5 fourths. The fourths cancel, and I get 5. So that's the first one. We have to do it again. Y equals KX. Y equals K. And our X now is 9 eighths. Think of that as over 1. The 4 will reduce the 8 to a 2. And that's going to equal 9 halves. Which is 4 and 1 half. Okay. And now I'll go back and make sure I answer the question. What will be the length and width of the tablet on the advertisement? Okay, it's length times width, so therefore it will be five by four. Inches. I have inches. Okay. Next question. All right, exercise. Students from the high school are going to perform one of the acts from their upcoming musical at the atrium in the mall. The students want to bring some of the set with them so that the audience can get a better feel of the whole production. The backdrop that they want to bring has panels that measure 10 by 10 feet. The panels that are 10 by 10. The students are not sure if they are able to fit the panel through the entrance of the mall. You gotta come in right here. Since the panels need to be transported flat horizontally, we can't tilt them and go in at an angle since the bottom right to the top left is a longer distance than just left to bottom left to bottom right. If we tilt something, it'll fit better because it's a larger distance. We can't do that. We've got to go in flat. So we want to make sure this small entrance has to be at least 10 feet or more so it fits. They obtain a copy of the mall floor plan shown below from the city planning office. Use the diagram to decide if the panels will fit through the entrance. Use a ruler to measure. Okay, so this is three eighths of an inch. And the scale is one eighth inch on the drawing represents four and a half feet. All right, so I need to do my table, original and scale. Okay, so I'm going to put original. Not much room to work here, so bear with me. Original, scale. This is my X, this is my Y, and I have to find K, which would be right here. All right, the scale is one eighth of an inch, represents four and a half feet. Okay, so I, that's my K. Okay, so let's work that over here. One eighth represents four and one half feet. Well, that'd be one one eighth. My pen's wacky here. One eighth 
is two. Nine halves. So these are feet. So I'm going to multiply that by 12. So that'd be one eighth is two. Fifty-four over one inches. Right. Eight and nine halves, or eight and a half, four and a half feet is fifty-four inches. So one eighth of an inch is to fifty-four inches. Okay, and that is our k. And so we're going to say k equals y divided by x, which is the same as y times a reciprocal of x. Let's try that again. 54 over 1 times 8 over 1. Okay, so our k is 432 inches. Okay, so now I'm going to take this 3 8 inches right here, and that's my original, and that's here. My K is 432 inches, so Y equals KX, Y equals K is 432, X is 3 eighths. So 8 goes into 43, 5 times, 8 goes into 32, 4 times, so that's 54 times 3, those cancel and give you 54, and so y equals 54 times 3, which is 162 inches. Okay, I want it in feet, so I'm going to divide by 12. 12 goes into 16 once with the remainder of 4. 12 goes into 42 3 times. That's 36, the remainder of 6, and 12 goes into 60 five times, 13.5 or 13 and one half feet. Okay, now I go back up and it says, use a good time. So what is the question asking? Students are not sure if they will be able to use these panels for the entrance of the hall since panels need to be transported flat. Okay, so we want to make sure that it's at least 10 feet and we just found that the door is 13 and one half feet wide. So we have a three and three feet, three and one half feet room to spare. Okay, that is the end of lesson 18. Go do your problem.